you guys, today I'm going to be putting this VXL 3S Villainium Brushless ESC Motor Upgrade into my Traxxas Slash 4 Rover. So finally, finally I'm doing this. I've been wanting to do this for a very, very, very long time because I've always felt that when I'm outside bashing in the garden at the track, I just find that it could do with a bit more power. When I first started out getting it, it was per perfectly fast enough. But now as I've, you know, got used to it, getting more confidence, I feel I could do with a bit of extra speed. So here we go, Traxxas 3S Valinian, it's got a 3,500 kV motor, 3,500, and this is actually the same power system that runs in the Rushler VXL, so this should boost up the speed quite a lot. Alright guys, so first, let's get this thing opened, and if you want to get this for yourselves, then if you check in the link down below, there's a link to the website where I got this from. So let's have a quick look inside and what we will be getting. All right, oh, uh, and I think this is, what's this for? Ah, I think this is to stick down the ESC. And, ah, uh, hoo, hoo Look at this, guys. 3S Valinian ESC. Luckily, because this is all made by Traxxas, no soldering will have to be done. However, I will have to calibrate the ESC. So that's the ESC. And what else have we got in here? Yes, we got the motor. Check that out. How cool does that look? Wow. All right. And also we get this plate here, which we are going to be putting the ESC onto because the standard plate doesn't actually fit it. So uh, I wonder, do we get any instructions in here? I feel like we should do. Uh, yes, we do. All right, so we get, woo, wow. So we get stickers. I think, yeah, these are stickers. And we get a lot of, well, we get warnings. I think that's this. Cool. Um, what else do we get in here? Whoa, okay. So this, I think, shows you. What does this show you? Oh, look at it. So this shows you all about the ESC, all of, like this technical specs. I don't know, you'll be able to understand that a bit more. Shows you how to set the mesh and how the motor's built up. And uh, here we go, we've got some instructions here. So I'm just gonna have a quick look through all of these and make sure that I don't do anything wrong and then I'll be ready to fit it. Okay, so when you've got everything unboxed, you'll get the 3S capable ESC, 3S capable 3,500 kV motor. You'll get a ESC pad and sticky pad to stick it down onto. And you also get this little toolkit with new motor screws and ESC screws. So here we go, we've got my old truck here. It turns out this has actually come unsoldered from, I think, the motor. So, yep, I guess that's not so bad because this is coming out anyway. Um, I haven't done this before, so I'm not going to film it. Um, also, don't take this as a how-to because, yep, I haven't done it before. I'm not 100% sure, so I'm just going to have a little play about with it. And uh, then once we've got the motor out, then I'll go and put you guys back on. Okay guys, so as you can very clearly see here, we got barely anything on this truck. Front and rear modules have been taken off and been put to the side because I just couldn't seem to get the motor out. So there we go, we've got the new motor nearly in position. We've got it on the uh, plate support thing. And uh, all I need to do now is just set the mesh. And uh, sadly, I couldn't use these new motor screws because uh, the old ones had like some special head so they fit flush here. Uh, but these didn't, so we're just gonna have to use the old ones, but they're fine anyway, so I'm gonna get Neil down Because this I can tell is gonna be pretty difficult to do, so Loosen this off Oh, come on Okay, you know what? We'll go with electricity Oh, I haven't turned it on yet Cool. So I think does that have to fully come out? No, it doesn't. Nice. So if you have a look here, if I rock this spur back and forwards a bit, there's a little bit of play. If there's too much, then you'll end up stripping out the screws. If it's too tight and there's no play, you'll end up killing all like the bearings and overheating the motor. So Woohoo! Yes, yeah, so we got the motor in. 
Okay, guys, so as you can see here, we've got the car pretty much back to itself, everything back together. So I've just plugged in the new ESC into the channel 2 slot. We have to remember ESCs are always in channel 2. But yes, we've got the new ESC here ready. And uh, you do get a plate, but I think this is for like if you're fitting onto a rustler because this didn't require any like sticky tape or it didn't come on a pad. And this seems to just like fit on absolutely perfectly. So it turns out I'm not going to need the uh, little sticky tape. This stuff here, the little sticky tape and the pad, which is very useful. So all I need to do now is just see which way does it fit on. Is it? Yeah, that's the right way around. Good. It's got a bit of a messy desk here. You can't see full angle, but pretty messy. Got stuff out of our boxes, tissues, blah. Anyway, so now let's get these new screws in. And then I'm going to have to calibrate the ESC, which is uh, something I haven't done before. So let's see how it goes. Right, so first things first. And the last little bit up by hand. Okay, so the ESC is now all placed in. So now we just need to get these covers back on. So I'm just going to tuck these in and make sure that you do have this rubber blue lining elastic thingy here because that is what that's what makes it. I mean, it ma it makes it waterproof. That keeps the electric safe. But um, even when they say it's waterproof, it isn't really. You have to strip the bearings down and clean everything out because otherwise it all rusts and all well, it seizes up uh, put this in there we go put this one in cool Lovely, so that's that bit on there. Make sure that, there we go, let's just pop this there. Make sure these wires aren't overlapping. Good, right, now, cover, pop that here. Come on, go on. Why isn't it going on? Oh, I think I've, yeah. Okay, I've done something daft. Didn't realize I need to put this on first. Classic. Ow. A bit daft of me. There we go. I haven't actually been in this car's receiver before, so um, <laughs> it's kind of new to me what I'm doing here. Oh, wrong side. the other bolt gone bolt oh no what ah there it is right in front of my eyes amazing there we are good and let's pop this in got my blue rubber sealant there Elastic, not sealant. <laughs> um, perfect, cool. That's in. So now I've got to plug these in according to the colours. So blue to blue. Yellow to yellow, it's quite stiff, which is good, so it shouldn't come out. And white to white, good. So as you can see here, there's a little screw hole and I've got these left over. So what I need to do is pop those down there. Put this screw there. And that holds all the wires together and stops them from flapping around. Which I think is quite clever. So is that the right size? That is the right size. 
There it goes. Oh, is it going? Doesn't seem to want to go in. Good, that's in. So as you can see here, they are all nice and tight. So now all we've got to do is set the ESC. And what I need to do is I've been daft and I forgot to charge my battery. So I'm going to charge that up and then I'll be ready to power this on. All right, guys, so here we are. I've got a 2S LiPo charger. This is the battery I will be using most of the times. Whew, so hopefully this works. I don't want to destroy the truck. So what you got to do is turn on the remote, plug in the battery. you got to hold this down. And then it should flash red. Okay. Now hold this down. Then hold it for the reverse. Calibration is set. Oh! Yes, we're all ready to go. So what we're going to do now is pop the wheels on, get the body on. We're going to take it outside for a blast. Okay, guys, so as you can see, got the slash here.